What's up everybody, thanks for joining us. Originally, this was going to be part of the Viper setup video, but we decided it would better serve as a standalone tutorial. Because it was originally part of the Viper video, the intro is a bit off, but this tutorial should work for any 3-axis fixed-wing aircraft. And now, on with the show! Okay, so, since uh, the Viper does not come with reflex, which makes, makes me sad, uh, I really like reflex, um... We're going to go with a Hobby Eagle A3 Lite gyro. Uh, we don't necessarily need to fly with gyros, but we like them because it smooths everything out. And you don't have to fight the wind. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to open the box, and there's a little card. That's going to be important. I'll show you this in a little while. We don't need it right this minute. Here. We're going to set this up the simple way. We're just connecting the control surfaces through the gyro and, in, and to the receiver. So, um, it comes with these three leads. These leads go from the gyro to the receiver. And they sent us a bunch. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can use this. You can uh, set up an extra channel on your receiver and your transmitter, and you can actually switch modes. This, this actually has a stability mode, like safe, uh, or <clears throat> stabilized on reflex, whatever you want to call it. But we're not going to use that. We're just going to set the mode uh, to normal, which is just the, the wind countering aspect. And they did not send me a little tiny screwdriver. Usually there's a little screwdriver in the box. So I'll have to get that. But we're literally just going to use... Aileron, elevator, and rudder. And the little capacitor, the big capacitor that they sent, you can plug that in anywhere. And we're just going to plug that right into the, the mode slot. And this just helps with noise. It's the same thing as the E-Flight Thunderbird comes with a capacitor. It helps keep down noise, interference, uh, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is on the receiver, we're going to unplug aileron, elevator, rudder. We're going to take the Hobby Eagle. And go aileron to channel two and elevator to channel three and rudder into channel four just like you normally would. Okay, and then we're going to take the servos that we just unplugged, the servo wires. It's on the Hobby Eagle. Hopefully you can read this. If not, it's, it's okay. Uh, out one is at the bottom, out two is in the middle, and out three is at the top. So, out one is going to be aileron. So this, you plug in the the aileron servos to out one because it goes from the receiver into the gyro and out to the control surfaces. We'll plug elevator into output two, plug the rudder into output three. Like so. 
Okay. Now, that looks like kind of a mess. I'll get it all cleaned up here soon. Uh, the receiver, we can just kind of put off to the side wherever we want. The gyro, we want to mount flat and as close to CG as possible. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved some of the wires out of the way. Put the receiver back in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But yeah, the receiver's tucked back in that hole. So we have access to the gyro. Uh, what we're going to do is turn it on. And we're going to go through each menu and make sure that the control surfaces are in the right directions. So I'm going to take this tiny little screwdriver here. What we're going to do is turn the gains up pretty high. So now you can see that those gain screws are turned clockwise. And that's going to allow us to test the flight surfaces. Let's plug in the battery. And you can see the lights on the on the gyro. It's blue. And blue is the standard mode. If we look, normal mode is blue, gyro off is gray, and lock mode is red. I'll show you what we do to test it. So you're gonna flick it. And when you flick it, the right aileron goes up which would push the airflow over the wing, hit the aileron, and correct. If so, the nose goes down, we want the elevators to go up, which they are. And the rudder, nope, okay, we need to reverse the rudder. Now what we're gonna do, we need to reverse the rudder. What that means is there's a button right there. See the button? We're going to push the button. So we're going to hold the button for two seconds. And it's going to go through each one of these menus. And the lights will flash. It'll flash once for one, two for two, three for three, four for four, and so on. So when the gyro does three flashes for rudder, we're going to click it. And then we're going to reverse that servo. So, here we go. Okay. One. One, two. One, two, three. That's the rudder. So now we're going to click it. And we want that reversed. And then we just leave it. And it should go back out and be on the next one. Wing type. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. So now to exit the menu, we just hold the rudder, hold the button down again, not the rudder. And we should be good. Let's make sure that the rudder is acting appropriately. Go left. Yeah. There we go. Now if the plane goes. To the left, the rudder corrects the opposite way. Okay. And elevator and aileron. Those games are really high. So now all I'm going to do is get back into the screws. And I'll show you in just a second when I'm done. But I'm going to turn these back down. And I'm going to point them at the minus. I'll show you what I mean shortly. And now you can see all the gains are basically in the same spot. And now the movements will be way less exaggerated. Might not even be able to see them, but that's okay. Now, oh, oh yep. Yeah. So you can still kind of see 
Maybe you can't, but I can see that the right aileron goes up when I turn. And, yep, much more subtle movements. That's basically it. Uh, we're ready to fly. Uh, hope you guys learned something. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, if you hate the video, leave a comment and tell us why you hate it. Uh, did I drone on too much? Was it too long? Not enough information. Um, yeah, but if you have questions about aircraft setups, uh, especially with uh, Spectrum systems or FMS planes, we can help you out. Uh, Till next time, I'm James with RC Air Shenanigans. Have a great day.